Hey class, Mr. McCarville here, uh, wanting to get you some information about what your day is going to look like. So we have a few goals today. One is you guys are going to work on this and uh, finish this up today. Now I got a little lesson coming up in a minute here uh, that hopefully will make it a little easier. But uh, as long as you can finish this up today, uh, you're in good shape. You're going to take a picture of this when you are done and you are going to submit that picture through Google Classroom. Uh, so I know I got it today. Now, here's why it's important to get full credit. Uh, you got to do this and turn this in today because tomorrow I'm going to print out or not print, but I'm going to post the answer key. So you guys will be able to check your own work and see how you did. But if I don't receive your uh, your submission today through Google Classroom, it's going to be tough to give you credit knowing that I already gave you the answer key tomorrow. So, uh, so that's what we have. All right, so we got 40 measurement questions. Uh, you guys still have this guy at your disposal that you can use at any time to help you out. Uh, so we're going to do a couple of these on here to get you started and give you a couple tricks uh, and tips along the way. So I'm one inch short uh, as compared to what you got here, but that's all right. No Y, no Z, we'll be all right. Uh, okay, so for number one, and I think we talked about this one in class just a little bit, uh, it's good to just identify what the letters are pointing to at first. So A obviously is at zero. So any one of these problems that starts with a letter A basically uh, is just asking what is the other one pointing to. So as we go through, we take a look at letter B lined up right here. The goal is that hopefully you guys get to look at that and right away say, I know that's a quarter of an inch. But if you're not there yet, and that's okay, because with repetition you will become very good, uh, what you would do is you're going to reference back to this page that you filled out in class, and you're going to count out one, two, three, four, all right, four, quarter of an inch, and we'd write that one down. For number two, kind of the same deal. We take a look. It's A to C. A is at zero. C is at one half of an inch. So we got a half of an inch uh, distance there. Now we'll skip ahead a few. For five, it says we're going from B to A, so we're moving backwards. This one's important in the sense, not that it's really tricky, but uh, when we are dealing with measurements, there's no negative numbers, right? It's just a distance, whether we're going in one direction or the other. So B to A is the same as A to B, and it would still be one quarter of an inch. So for uh, some of your first column, that's what you have. Then uh, letter E is really commonly used. So letter E is at one inch as well. Or not as well, but it's at one inch. Uh, so whatever distance you're getting this time, you can just subtract one inch from it. So uh, they have E to B. So we got one inch and we got one quarter of an inch. Here's the two ways that you can do this to come up with the right answer. Way number one, we write down our two numbers with the largest number first on top. And just a little forewarning, the back side of this is what we're going to be doing tomorrow, and I'll come up with another lesson for that. Uh, but we can do subtraction. We have one. We're subtracting a quarter. We can do the whole borrowing thing if you want, where one whole is essentially equal to four quarters. And then when we do subtraction, uh, subtracting fractions, your bottom number is always going to stay the same. So we don't worry about that. Now we just take four minus one, giving you three. So the answer would be three. The other way you can go about this is you can start at one point and you can just count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. There are 12 sixteenths of an inch in between E and B. So we can head back to our page here. And you could count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You're going to get to three quarters as well. So we can either 
do subtraction to get the answer we want, or we can count, or we can go both ways, and if you get the same answer both ways, you know it is going to be correct. So, uh, as you guys work your way through here, let's take a look again. Uh, most of these are going to start, or at least include, A, E, and J, which is 0 inches, 1 inches, and 2 inches. It's not till we get to the last five where we're starting on something that doesn't have a whole number uh, on its own. So let's, let's tackle 36. It says B2Q. So we're gonna identify B, we're gonna identify Q, and uh, another good thing if you're still getting used to measurement is just identifying which one each is first is a big deal. So V is at four and one, two, three, four, five sixteenths. Cool. And Q is at one, two, three, four, hey, five sixteenths. So this one isn't too bad at all. We can do subtraction. Five sixteenths minus five sixteenths is zero sixteenths. Four minus three is one. That one was pretty easy. Let's do one more for you, and then we will send you on your way. How about number 40? This time we're going to do V. We're going to do M. So V is going to stay the same, 4 and 5 sixteenths. M, it looks like 2 and 9 sixteenths. So we can work our way through subtraction. Luckily, both of these are in sixteenths. Uh, but we got an issue. We can't do 5 minus 9. 5 is smaller than 9 doesn't work. So uh, what we're going to do is borrow. We're going to take one from this whole number. So we're going to take four, cross it out, put a three. When we do that, we now have a whole extra set of 16 sixteenths. Because 16 over 16 reduced is one. So three and 16 over 16 is the same as four. Uh, Okay, so here's what we do. When we add fractions as well, bottom number stays the same. So we know we're going to get 16 on the bottom. 5 plus 16 on top gives us 21. And now we can take 21 minus 9 sixteenths. 21 minus 9 is going to give us 12 sixteenths. 3 minus 2 is going to give us 1. And we're almost there. All we got to do is reduce this fraction. Remember I talked about in class, if we ever have an even number on top, uh, we're not down as far as we can go. So we got to get it to an odd. Two ways to do this. Greatest common factor. If you remember that from math class, you're going to find the greatest common factor in between the two and divide by that number. If you have never heard of that, here's what we do. We just chop each number in half until we get an odd number on top. So we chop 12 down to 6. We chop 16 down to 8. We still have an even number, so we're going to take it another time. We chop 6 down to 3. We chop 8 down to 4. We have our odd number on top. 12 over 16 is the same as 3 quarters. And of course, because you guys have this guy as well, uh, you'd be able to see that and count that out. So the final answer for this one, a little spaced out here, it would be one and three quarters for number 40. So I believe we gave you five free answers. I need you to do uh, the other 35. Take a picture, send it to me. I'm going to get you the answer key tomorrow. And I will get you another video uh, showing better how we're going to reduce fractions, add fractions, and subtract fractions. Good luck, guys.